<laughs> All right, Ian, we have more news on the... God, we've just got so much fiery news today. So much. So much fiery tech, news. Modern gaming news. Oh, my God. It's like we're fucking reviewing tech in the USA. Uh, Xbox, <laughs> Xbox One S all digital console launching in May. Uh, I think we saw this coming. I think not just Pat and I, but we've discussed it. I think obviously other people. Well, it was rumored, saw this. right? Oh, uh, was it? I thought it was rumored. I mean, no. I just think we maybe it was. So it's a discless, discless Xbox One, all digital gaming, all the time. So <laughs> it's your Xbox One S, it's the S model, the small one, um, and the rumor is the uh, plenty of rumors. See, now it's being rumored. Um, now there's rumors from the rumors. Uh, we've known that. Uh, uh, oh, okay, I guess it's been for a few weeks. I, I mean, we talked about this like a, a year, year ago. ago. This is a possibility. Um, so, codename Maverick. Uh, <laughs> Top Jesus Gun Christ. Two comes out. Yeah, it's pretty. No, this year or next year? Um, it was codename Maverick. It's likely to be called the Xbox One S All Digital Edition when it comes out. Um, I think it's. It makes sense. It does. There is a brand of person out there who doesn't need it. You buy one of these, you buy the um, Xbox All Access Pass or whatever the hell they're like. Straight, their subscription. Their subscri they have a they have like a special subscription one that, from what I've heard, is pretty good in terms of what it gives you. You buy one of the, you buy that pass, you buy this, and I think that this sets it's Game up, Pass is called Game Pass, and I think this sets you up. This sets up any person who doesn't always have to have the latest game. Um, it's not... I, I With something like Game Pass, I don't feel bad about the fleeting nature, perhaps, of the digital, because you're buying a service, you're not buying a game. Um, I, I want to know what the price of this system is going to be. If this can come out at the one... Uh, this can come out at 150 new. I think they might actually move some of them. The latest console from Microsoft is likely to sit in the Xbox One range. This means there's no Blu-ray drive. Instead, the gaming experience will be digital only. When is it out? Might be revealed in April 9, uh, 2019. Available to buy May 7th. Oh, really? How much will it cost? Details from Windows Central suggest it's going to have the lowest price point of the current Xbox lineup, which makes sense. You have less, less yeah, no shit. do hickeys in it. Yeah. Why not? So so okay so you're saying this is this is going to be for obviously what you can you need a hard drive to download well yeah everything so, so it, 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 it I um, mean and also with so much of their their content now being on PC this really is kind of they're they're, they're phrasing it differently but this is different this is um this is essentially as a, a, a set top PC box I mean to a degree you're going to be getting a lot of that stuff or this is I mean that's how it's going to operate at the very least. So you need obviously if you want to download all all the AAA games you need a good connection, or you'll be waiting there for a week and a half still. Yeah. So if you want to play Red Dead Two on this, at, buy it from the store. I don't know what my connection is, but I download pretty quickly. Yeah, we live in San Diego. We're good. Sure. <laughs> but we we updated your internet for the for the marathon a couple of years ago. But again, this goes back to the issue of yeah, if you have a good internet connection, this is a nice solution. If this costs, say this comes out, it's only one hundred and sixty bucks. Something like in that neighborhood, or one hundred eighty dollars. You have a, a lot of people that might might be willing to drop that amount of money on it at that point versus three hundred or four hundred dollars. You know, I can look and be like, oh, I can get a a AAA console very cheap. I don't have a disc. I have a good internet connection. I'm ready to go. You know, why not do that at that point? So it looks like Game Pass costs somewhere in the range of eighty bucks a year. But That's, you don't. But you don't need that. To, you can just buy games, though. Yeah, I'm just saying. But if you buy, but I mean, eighty bucks a year, you pay a little bit more than one. You're game saying that's your entry fee is this console to get the Game Pass. Well, so you buy this, you buy Game Pass, you're set, and you potentially have, you have a lot it. of games. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm thinking about if I want to play Red Dead Two, this is my cheapest way to do it. Yeah. Out of out of all the PS4s and Xbox Ones, this will be the cheapest way to do it. Except for you've got a PS4 sitting in your living room. First of all, it's sitting right there. I don't have time to play. It's not mine. It's Yoshi's. I know it is. I know, Ian. I know. I I, I wanted to give it back to him. He won't let me give it back to him. Sorry, Yoshi's a CG guy, our friend, friend of the show. Yoshi, Personal he doesn't friend. he doesn't appreciate your generosity. Uh, he's an expert in jujitsu, by the way. He's going to teach me. Anyway, him and I are going to get together and have some long chewy white boys. Long chewy white boys. Yeah. 
<laughs> Not we forgetting lo- what that was from the from the marathon. We love uh, rice cakes. No, it was oh. from. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, it was from we, we, we Korean barbecue. We did together. The sticky Korean rice cakes. Yeah, the, the white boys. You, had, me, you had about forty of those. Pass me a plate of them, <laughs> white boys. <laughs> you must have you must have absorbed so much water the next five days. You must have, your stomach <laughs> must have expanded. So much rice was inside of you. I fucking love those things. Uh, let's see, promotional period is ten dollars a month at the promotional period for your Xbox Game Pass. You're saying you buy it all up front. For eighty bucks or so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like I said, if this comes out, this is going to be. If this is like a sub two hundred dollar solution, AAA gaming. If you have a decent connection, like I do here, I got fiber optic. You might see Pat get, buy an Xbox. You might see it. I honestly feel like that might be my choice next and, generation. And Sony doesn't. Well, I think together. next generation. This is what Xbox is going to be. Right. I think Xbox is going to be like, yeah, digital or buy it on your PC, or 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 the super duper Switch. We'll put our games in there. Cuphead's coming to Switch. It's big newsy, and we're not going to do a whole topic, but... I just started playing it on my uh, PC. You like it? It's a damn good game. It's gorgeous, too. Contra-esque, but 1930s animation, which is fantastic. Yeah. What a wacky-ass game. God, I love I love this stuff. Yeah. The golden age of gaming, Ian. All right, so anything else to add on the, the discless? Discless? <laughs> Be careful I say that. Discless Xbox One All Digital? No, no, no. Nothing else to add. <laughs>